Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the United Kingdom, right in the heart of the country in South Warwickshire. And today I've got a lovely card for you uh, using the um, lovely lily pad um, item which is available in celebration along with a sentiment um, from a new stamp set and some beautiful paper. And this card looks on the, um, at first instance as a standard card, but actually it's just a modified um, card. So this front flap actually is, is free of the back, so you end up with a card that actually stands a little bit proud. I might just adjust my lighting, there you go. hope that's a bit better for you. Um, so this card, I say, just stands up and you can see there slightly modified and it's just makes a little bit of a change and I've decorated the inside of this with some beautiful die cuts as well and this lovely paper with the lily which is very Monet-esque um, paper is the lovely lily impressions paper which is this paper here um, six, 12, six designs double-sided as you can see I've kind of already used a lot of this um, but on the one side it's lovely lily inspired um, paintings and on the other side it's some lovely solid colours with a sort of water washed feel so as you can see lovely bright colours um, with flirty flamingo and, and pink that's a lovely bit of calypso coral there you see pretty peacock coming in um, along with um, uh, at the background as well um, and you can see here some gorgeous great bit of highland heather you know uh, followed by garden green so those are the kind of colors and they are designed to go with this beautiful stamp set which is available as a free item in celebration so when you spend 45 pounds you can choose this item uh, for free um, and actually the great thing about this is you can see there's some dies because that's another celebration item you can actually get for a 90 pound spend you can get these lovely coordinating dies now if, if you haven't quite got that budget at the moment these will you can die cut um, these or obviously you can hand fussy cut these out as well I've used the die cuts to act as an accent um, and then the lovely happy birthday sentiment is from a, another fabulous new stamp set which is this one here which is the peaceful moments goes with the painted poppies and comes in a bundle with the poppy dies as you can see there but really useful um sentiment set there's a thank you happy birthday you know you've got sort of every occasion covered with that so well worth getting so let's crack on with the project. Um, I've done a bit of prep in advance, uh, just so that um, to speed it up. Obviously, die cutting. If you're struggling with that, drop me a line. We'll get you sorted. Um, but I'll just talk through the principles to save you having to sit and wait while I wind my big shot up. So, first of all, we're going to take a piece of um, thick Whisper White cardstock, um, and you need to cut that too. Um, 14 and a half by um, 21 centimetres. I'll work in centimetres um, but obviously I'll, I'll convert to inches for those of you that need it as well. I'm going to score at 10 and a half on the long edge once you've trimmed that down just to create our classic tent fold which is the starting point and then what I'm going to do is line it up at three and a half centimetres and I'm going to cut from the bottom up to the score line, flip it round so you've got the cut here, line it up again and this time I'm going to cut from the top down to the score line. And then you're just going to trim away those two outer panels. Don't pop that out of the way. And if you haven't quite gone to the top, that's absolutely fine. Better to leave it a little bit short and then cut up. Go and then on the other side as well the same. Like so then what we need to do is just fold and burnish that work, that score line really well just to create our card base. So the next stage of this is to do some decoration. So I've taken one of the other papers in it, which has got more of the pretty peacock in. So I've taken the pretty peacock as my inspiration for the colour um, on this one. 
and I'm just adding those panels. Now I found it was easier to add the panels while the card was closed and these panels I've deliberately kept the same depth as the card. So these are ten and a half centimetres um, by three centimetres and you want two of those. I say that just slots in at the top there and it's the full depth of the card so you've just got the border on either side and if you if you hang over if you make sure it comes down to the bottom it's really easy just to pop in and trim that off then you can add your, your designer series paper DSP I forget sometimes that you know not everybody knows what we mean by DSP so add that and I've cut those two. Yes, I've cut those two wide. I didn't check those. So those actually should be two and a half centimetres. So I'll very quickly just trim that down. And my other one that is a little bit gluey, never mind. We will, uh, we will adapt. to de-glue my trimmer so just pop those on again the border either side <laughs> and just pop those in there Again, always allow your overlap at the bottom and you can just come in and trim. Okay, so there's your card base. I'm then going to use some Melon Mambo to pick up that lovely hot pink there and I'm going to add that to my centre panel. Um, so on my centre panel I've taken some card which is ten and a half centimetres by seven centimetres for this panel in the middle here. And I've used fuse here, so I just need to be a little bit careful to make sure I've got the... Okay, there we go. And then my Whisper White panel is 10 by 6.5. And, um, and because I'm, I'm not stamping direct onto that, I'm going to pop, pop that on. Oh, I am stamping direct onto that. I was going to stamp my sentiment. Okay, never mind. We'll pop my panel on and then we'll add the sentiment. So for my sentiment, I'm going to use some lovely Melon Mambo. And as I said, the sentiment comes straight out of the uh, Peaceful Moments stamp set. I'm just going to open that up to minimise what I've got and pop that on there. Put my ink away. And then we can carry on with the decoration. So for the decoration then, first thing of all, we're going to need a bit of Whisper White cardstock. Um, and the thing to do is to stamp these first. Let's see if I can find a slightly smaller piece. There we go. There we go. There's a few scraps. So, with these stamps, um, you'll see that on the stamp set, it actually shows you the outline and then a shaded image. And what that means is that if you wanted to, you could stamp your image like so. Um, and then you can actually turn over that, ink it up and use the reverse of the stamp to give you a, a shaded feeling. I'm not actually going to do that. What I'm going to do is die cut those first. And I want to, I'm going to die cut the outline of this one and I like to die cut first before I colour because then if I mess up my die cutting it doesn't matter I haven't wasted the time doing the colouring. So I'm going to, to die cut two of these, uh, one of these and two of the smaller ones um, and that this smaller shape is this lovely detailed one that I have somewhere here. Okay so the detailed one I'm going to die cut is this one here. So stamp And I've just stamped those in Memento because I'm going to use my blends to do some colouring. So let me just pop off. I'm going to die cut those. I'll be back in a moment. 
Okay, so here we go. Here's my um, shaped cut, die cut images. And I'm going to, I haven't actually got melon, um, there aren't melon mambo uh, um, inks, and I haven't got lovely lipstick, which are on the other colours. But what I have got is I've got a dark lovely lipstick and I've got a dark flirty flamingo. So I'm going to use that to create my colouring. So I'm just going to come in with my flirty flamingo first. And just leaving the sort of tips of this white and generally trying to come from the bottom up towards the tip so I kind of get those long strokes like so. And you don't have to be precise with these. And you don't have to be too heavy handed either. Okay, so we just pop those up like so. I'll do the same on these. And the lovely thing about blends is they're very forgiving. So, you know, if if it's not quite right, just either use the colour lifter to lift a bit of colour, or you can go in with another colour to colour over with them. Get some really pretty effects. Then I'm going to come in with my um, dark colour. So you see here. So I'm just adding just a small amount of colour to the base here. Just in little like so. I've probably got a bit close to the microphone. Doing a heavy breathing impression. Apologies. It's really difficult. I'm, I I often stand. I suffer with a sciatic problem, so I sometimes stand up for crafting. Um, which is fine until I forget and I stand up and then of course I'm much closer to my microphone than when I'm sitting. So you get a somewhat uh, odd sound I suspect but hey there we go. And then all you're going to do is just come in with your second colour again and just blend those colours together. you can see that's starting to shade and blend in. And you can always fill in those colours if you wanted to, just to give a little bit more colour. So once you've coloured all of those, um, the next thing is to finish our card off. So this is very much um, where we're going to stamp our leaves as well. Stamp and die cut. Only I haven't done those, so there we go. Um, while, that, while I'm waiting, um, actually what I'm going to do is quickly shape that and add my um, leaf onto the, onto the bottom of that. So I'm just going to add a bit of glue onto my leaf there. And I'm just going to add that to the bottom here so you get a hint of a leaf behind the stem. I'm going to do the same with my small leaves and then I'm going to add my others over the top. What I'm actually going to do for speed, just because I forgot to die cut, is I'm going to stamp my outline of my lily pad straight onto the card here. And then I'm going to show you what I mean by the reversing. So, clean off your stamp, flip it over and attach it. Don't do what I've done, which is leave it 
uh, there we go, stamp off and then you can come in and just stamp in its place like so. So then you don't, then you've got a bit of um, um, interest straight onto the back. Then you can add your leaf, smaller leaf, which I've stamped and die cut here. Then we can add our larger one just on the top here. Just put it to one side slightly with a dimensional. And what I've done is I'm putting a dimensional on the flower but just adding some fine glue to the stem because my flower is going to stand proud my stem will go flat. I'm going to shape my flowers then again just a dab of glue on the back of these flowers before I add my little shape um, leaf to the bottom so I'm sure I had another one I did here we go pop that one on there and then again just pop a single dimensional in the back there for each of your flowers so I'm going to pop one just on there and another one just on the bottom here and I've left them slightly overhanging the sides as well so that all that remains is to just add some dabs of glue because I don't want it to sit completely flat onto the front of my flower like so and while that's drying I can open it up and this piece here I found it was just perfect if I cut two flowers off there and the great thing about this strip is there's a lovely strip across the middle, perfect for you to add your glue and attach it to your card. So that can go in like so. And there we have our pretty Lily inspired birthday cards using the Lily impression and some fabulous celebration items. Thanks for watching come back and see me soon and if you'd like to purchase any of these products or you'd like to know more about celebration drop me an email give me a call I'd be happy to have a chat bye now